All right, try this once more. Come on. Three, two, one, release. Okay, I, th I think we have a bit of a problem right here. Uh, okay. Now, everybody, I have finally done it in life. I finally bought myself a Honda. But it's not any Honda, everybody. It's a Honda Jet. Yes. Everybody, in today's video, let's talk a little bit about this interesting plane. We now have the Honda Jet freshly released for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. You can buy this now off the market store. And this is a very interesting plane. A lot of people were actually waiting for this release right here. This is a very renowned private jet, even though uh, it, it looks a little bit... Looks a little bit strange, especially here, the engines, everybody, yes. If you want to buy this plane for the flight simulator, it'll cost you 25 euros. In today's video, let's check out if that's worth it. And also talk about the real Honda Jet, which, by the way, is a little bit more expensive. It costs around like 15 million dollars, depending on your deal. Maybe see also if that price is justified as well. Now, everybody, the Honda Jet. Now, of course, you can already see the, you know, size. It's not that big of a plane. It's really as small as a satanic. Mustang that we've got in the background. Very small jet. We can even check out the cockpit. I've already turned on the batteries. So you can see this very nicely made cockpit here for the flight simulator. We can see some synthetic vision. Things work. We have some touch screens here, which is very nice to see. This was, I think, custom created, right? We can close the doors here, for example, via this tablet, like in real life, I think, as well. Very nicely motorized. Looking good. We can take a bit of a look into the rather small cabin. This one only has four seats, but at least it does have at least a lavatory. But who's going to care about that in the flight simulator. By the way, we've got no mirror. Mm -hmm. I don't like the color palette here of this plane. Oh, we can, oh yeah, we can, we can, turn. good. Like just this overly cream color and then there's this blue sink. I hate it here. No, just kidding. Well, this is actually a very, very nice private jet. Very futuristic as well. They've been producing these planes since 2015 and they have built around 200 of these so far. And actually, the Honda Jet appears to be rather successful. Honda, everybody, has done a really interesting engineering job. I mean, just look at these engines. You know, this design here with these engines very much reminds me of that old VFW uh, German plane that we talked about a lot, the 420, I think. What's it called? For, this one has the, the registration 420, which I think is funny. Anyway, this very interesting design of having engines mounted to pylons that are mounted to wings. I mean, it just, it looks... Okay, we, I do have to say, this plane is incredibly ugly. I hate it. You know, it looks like a dolphin, but a dolphin who needs to die, honestly, now. I hate it. But that doesn't matter. This plane is still nice and stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure having the engines mounted here will make the cabin extremely quiet. You won't have a lot of jet noise compared to if you had the engines mounted here on the, um, you know, the fuselage. You know, the tail, right? That's very clever. What's also clever is how the plane starts up, really. You can turn on the batteries right here, and then all you need to do basically is just start the engines. Just press the start knob. Here we go, it's already starting up, which I think is ridiculous. Now, it shouldn't be starting up, but I've kind of, oh, I'm sorry. Let's get rid of the, um, come on, static elements. That's what I'm talking about, yes. We've already got spinach in these very small engines. This is very easy to start out. Let's just give it some fuel right here, some throttle. And that's what I'm saying. Very easy plane. Just a few minor switches. I've seen cars more complicated than this plane for sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and get everything closed here. This is very straightforward. We can check out the map. Of course, again, this is very nicely done. This is a custom computer right here. I mean, this is a modern plane, so having the computer very nicely simulated is very important. And we have that here for sure. We have these like the Garmin, I think, G3000 panels. Very nice, and we can now interact here, uh, you know, via these little tablets down here. Incredibly realistic. I like that very much. But we have now spent way too long just meandering about this plane without flying it. Let's, let's fly this stupid thing. All right, here we go. Flaps 50% and... Okay, honestly, what... <laughs> yeah, what the hell happened here? Okay, um, let's try that again. What the hell? Right, let's try this again. Oh, God. Is this normal? Why can't this plane take off? I've, I've, I'm not I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, okay, maybe try another airport right here. By the way, if you buy this plane, you get a bunch of liveries included, which I think is nice. All right, new place, new plane. Let's try this once more. Come on, plane. Full power, no warnings. Everything's fine. Yeah, let's check that out. Okay, maybe it's me who did something wrong all, all after all. Oh, God. No, no, why is it doing that? 
Why? Why? Help! I I didn't expect that. What the What the hell's going on? <laughs> Good one. Let me try to spawn into the air and just see if that works. Just some slew mode right here. Here we go. It's gonna release it. Oh my god! <laughs> Lol. All right. This is clearly broken. This is very bright. Like this is actually a lot of fun. Is something. Am I doing something wrong here? All right. Try this once more. Come on. Three, two, one. Release. Okay, I, th I think we have a bit of a problem right here. Uh, okay. Okay, 25 euros I, I spent on this, by the way. I mean, the systems are nicely animated, so that's... Hello, Cessna. Okay. All right, I have some for him. Wacky Honda Jet. How this happened, I have no clue. Oh, yeah. Kind of know this picture. It's great. All right, let me get rid of Europe right here and maybe try to fight a St. Bartholomew. Come on, don't die. Yeah, looking very good. Yeah, so... So very realistic. I like this very much. Good good flying. Thank you. All right, you know what? Maybe they messed up the installation or something. Let's reinstall it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, now, reinstalled the version right here. Come on, give it another try, Honda Jet. You can do it, plane. I mean, the ratings so far have been quite good for the most part. Okay, there are a few one stars. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. You know. Oh, it flies. Oh, we're, fly we're back in the air. You know what? Okay, I'll give this a chance. Maybe, just maybe, this is so realistic. Maybe this plane does fly like this in real life. I mean, that would be great for, um, I mean, kind of like VTOL flying, really. Kind of like a helicopter. Here we go. Oh, I, oh, okay. I thought it would work for a second. All right, this add-on is extremely, exclusively, totally, extremely, totally broken. Like in all ways. This is just broken token. The other stuff's cool though, all these switches here in the cockpit work, this is in theory a very nice plane, the Honda Jet here for the flight simulator, I mean, look. Now something I would like to try as well though, is maybe have the AI take off right here, AI piloting. Alright, try it now, you can do it. Alright, go full power, how will that work? Alright, it's going full power, okay, both engines looking fine, absolutely. Alright, 60 knots and it's kind of stalling. All right, even the AI cannot save it here. We really need Jesus at this point. Like, really, I can see this add-on has a lot of potential. Oh, and look what's also nice. This plane doesn't really have reverse thrust. As you can see, these engines are way too tiny for that. But it does have, like, an air brake, very much like the Avro planes used to have. My goodness, that, is, that takes me back. That is really nice. But it makes this plane look even more ugly when it lands. But that's great. This is a very nicely done add-on and plane. But what do we do now? I mean, I cannot fly it. But I mean, this is really, really strange. I, I mean, I'm trying to find other people who have, who have their Honda Jet broken. I'm, 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 I think I'm the only one who, who has a broken Honda Jet. I think Hondas are very reliable cars normally, but this is not going very well at all. Look, this guy can fly. No problem at all. Look at his screen. Everything's looking good. Like maybe something that could have happened is maybe some add-on of mine might just interfere with the Honda Jet. Hmm. So yes, everybody. I mean, that is something that can happen as well. I mean, I don't really know how to fix this now. Really. I mean, I've, I've done nothing. I mean, this really just goes to show sometimes this flight simulator can be very, very buggy. And the add-ons as well. So yes, everybody. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I've very much wasted 25 euros now. Like, ser ser seriously. I can't even fly this. Very much wasted potential for this video. This seems like a very nice add-on. But if it wasn't broken, then I would actually say it is worth the price. If you want to fly a very interesting private jet that you could maybe own yourself one day if you get very, very rich, then I think you should get this. If you want to get a Honda, get a Honda. Shut up, it's just, this is a bad video. Thank you very much for watching this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night.